Okay, guys, welcome to Yoga Lotties. Music's going up. As always, please modify anything, any way you need to. If something doesn't feel right, treat today as a brand new day. Even if we've done it in the past, take things slow, move with your breath, okay? Um, let's start in a hip width stance. Let's take a nice big breath in. Sun salutation, reach the arms overhead. Let's take a couple breaths into the first one. Draw the abs tight, squeeze your glutes, reach as high as you can through your fingers. Let's do one more big breath. And on your exhale, forward fold. Take the hands down the legs. If you can get them all the way to the floor, that's great. If you can only hang on to the ankles or shins, that's fine. And we're gonna go right into some sways. Relax your head, chest down, let your head hang heavy. And just sway those hips side to side, nice and slow. Just move that stretch around a little bit. Let's take three breaths into this first one relaxing a little deeper on those exhales moving that stretch around you feel go from one set of hamstrings to the other we're getting the low back moving around a little bit two more breaths sinking a little deeper into those legs again you can be up here on the shins or ankles and still doing a nice little sway in our forward fold one more breath, we're gonna articulate the spine up, one vertebrae at a time. Go ahead, unroll the back up nice and slow. Take a big breath in, bring the arms overhead. Sun salutation, let's make a finger gun this time. Finger gun, push the hips forward on your breath, reach behind you for a nice big standing back bend. Three breaths, abs tight, squeeze your glutes in as you push your hips forward and reach behind you. Two more breaths. Make sure you're really drawing the abs tight, squeezing, engaging those glutes. It'll help take some of the pressure off the low back. One more breath. And on your exhale, forward fold. Ooh, I got about three pops on that back bend. Yowzes. Relax down a little deeper this time. Here we go. Forward fold and add the sway. Sorry, my microphone got all over the place there. Three breaths. Relax into the knees. Let the head hang down heavy as you fold into the legs. Sway the hips nice and slow, side to side. Feel that nice stretch. Two more breaths. A really good stretch on the hamstrings right away. Warming up the spine. One more time, we're gonna go to our standing back bend. Unroll the spine up slowly, drag the arms up. Take a breath in as you bring the arms overhead. Make a finger gun. On your exhale, push the hips forward as you reach behind you and to the sky through your finger gun. Three breaths. Stretch on the abdomen, front of the hips. Just make sure you're protecting that low back by squeezing the glutes and keeping the abs tight. One more breath, reaching up. Okay, come forward, let the arms come down. Take a nice wide but strong stance with the feet. Bend the knees and take the hands to the floor. Soften the knees up. So we're gonna bend the knees, walk the hands back through the legs as far as you can. Kind of a crouching forward fold. We're gonna stretch the low back out. Dive the head down as you walk back all the way on those fingertips. Three breaths. Bend the knees as much as you want. Really pull the head down, fold deep. Two more breaths. One more breath, pulling that head down and through the legs with the knees bent. And then we're going to start some windmills. Let's add in some twists. Walk the hands under the chest, flatten the back out and put your legs as straight as you can get them. And we're going to keep the legs completely straight or as straight as you can in our windmill. Take a breath in, keep the left hand right under the chest and on your breath. Bring that right arm up. Try to make a nice straight line with your arms. Have your palm forward. Turn your head and look up your right arm as you reach to the sky. Take a breath in, bring the right hand down under the chest and head. Exhale as you bring the left arm up. 
Take them slow. We're going to do three on each side. Inhale down, tabletop. Exhale up into the windmill. Inhale down to tabletop. Exhale up into your windmill a little further each time. Keep reaching up through the fingers and back behind you. One more each side. Here we go. Inhale down. Exhale up. One more time, guys. Inhale down. Last windmill. Exhale into it. Move through the hips and trunk. Keep the legs as straight as you can. And bring that left hand back down to join the right. Unroll the spine up nice and slow. Still in our wide stance. Bring the left arm overhead and grab your elbow with your right hand. Take a nice big breath in and bend to your right as you pull on that left elbow. We're going to stretch the lat and the triceps right behind the arm. Get a little little bend at the waist too. Three breaths. Here we go. Reach across through those left fingers and then gently pull with the right hand. Bending at the waist, keep your chest tall. Two more breaths. Nice big stretch down the left side, all the way from the hip up into the triceps. Let's give it one more breath. Keep the legs nice and straight, abs tight. Good, come back to the center. Take a big breath in and grab your right elbow with the left arm. Here we go on your exhale. Go right into that big side bend as you pull on the right elbow. Three breaths once you reach your sticking point. Get the right side of your body as long as you can. Two breaths. One more breath into our big side bend, pulling on the elbow. Okay, come back to the center. Let's take the hands behind the back. If you can lock your fingers together, do so. If you don't have that kind of mobility, just extend the arm straight behind you. I want you to really pull the shoulders back, lift the chest and lock the arms straight. Fully extend the arms, pulling back. Let's go ahead to mudra. Take the head down slowly. Extend the arms as high as you can. Pull the shoulders back as you extend the arms up as straight and as high as you can. And we'll take three breaths and do it. Dive the head down as you extend the arms up. Two more breaths. Little chest stretch, deep shoulders. One more breath. We will take the hands down to the floor before you unroll the spine up. Always bring the hands down and then unroll the spine up one final time. And we're gonna go ahead and take it down to the mat. So you can step your feet in once you get up tall. Please go to one back edge of your mat wherever you can see me best. And we're gonna hand walk out to upward facing dog with the knees off the floor or to cobra with the knees down. Just take an athletic stance with the feet. Take your hands to your mat. Very slowly, walk your hands out. Head chest comes tall. Put the tops of your feet flat. Let the head chest come up, pull the shoulders back. Or let the knees come all the way down into high cobra. And let's take three breaths in either cobra or upward facing dog. You guys keep going. I got to take this pop up off my screen. I can't see myself. There we go. Okay. Here we go. High Cobra or upward facing dog. One more breath. Whichever variation you're in, knees up or down, abs tight, squeeze the glutes and let the knees come down if you're an up dog. Push back in a child's pose. Let's decompress. Let's get that low back a little break. Sink down. Stretch the arms out, get as flat as you can, get your butt all the way down onto your heels if you're able to. And let's take three breaths. Had all kinds of curveballs thrown at me this morning with technology. Stretch the arms out, just giving the back and arms a little break because we're gonna go right into heel presses. One more breath. 
bring yourself forward in a table pose and then step the feet back one at a time to full prone plank, dive your head down, downward facing dog, and let's walk the knees and heel presses. And we're turning the hips and head in and down to the bent knee. And we're pressing the opposite heel of the straight leg into the floor without it touching to feel that great stretch move from one side to the other. Achilles tendons, soleus, caps, hamstrings, the entire posterior chain of the legs. Move with your breath. Don't worry about following me. I'm just doing about five second cycles. Inhale, twist. Exhale, press the heel. Inhale, twist. Exhale, press the heel. Keep going. Here we go. Three more breaths. Two more breaths. We're going to go to pigeon. One more breath and heel press. Flatten your back out. Slowly draw the right leg under to our pigeon pose. Slide the left leg as flat as you can. Here is where we're stretching. And when you feel ready, fold down as deep into your pigeon as you can. And let's take three breaths. Laying a little deeper on those exhales as always. Keep sliding that left leg back further and further away, flatter and flatter trying to get deeper into our pigeon. One more breath. We're gonna do the same sequence, heel presses to pigeon with the left leg. Bring the hands under the shoulders, bring your back left knee off the floor, step the right leg back to downward facing dog. And let's do it again, here we go. We're gonna warm up those caps and hands a little bit more. Follow your breath. Take them slow. Find a position where you feel strong and your arms aren't getting overly fatigued. And if they do get overly fatigued, just go to pigeon on the left leg or child's pose until we catch up with you. Turn those hips, fold the head down a little further into those knees, that bent knee. Here we go. Three. Two. One more time. Flatten the back out, abs tight, cross the left leg under to pigeon slowly and slide back into the stretch. Ooh, now I'm starting to sweat a little bit. Three breaths. Restore, stretch. Taking the energy back down a little bit after that down dog heel press. Let's walk in those knees, good full body exercise. Two breaths. One more nice big breath. Okay, great. Bring the hands under the shoulders. Just put your weight on your arms and bring your right knee up so you can uncross the table pose. We're going to do some thoracic twists from table pose. All right, done these periodically in the past. Let's start with the right side so you can get a good view of this. So the goal is we're going to keep this left hand or this left arm pretty straight through the whole movement. And you can have that left hand a little bit out in front of your shoulder. Take your right hand right to the back of your head. First thing we're gonna do is inhale and try to flatten your back out. You're gonna push your back. You're gonna reach your right elbow behind you as far as you can. You're gonna really plant that left arm firmly. And we'll take three breaths on the first one. On your exhale, you're gonna keep pushing and reaching that right elbow behind you. Pretend like there's a wall behind you and you're trying to get your back flat against it. Two breaths. One more breath and then we're gonna keep them moving. So here we go, big breath in. On your exhale, bring the elbow across and under the chest as far as you can, keeping that left arm straight. Squeeze the abs in. Inhale, unroll the back. 
and reach behind you. Exhale, cross the elbow under as far as you can across under the chest, keeping the left arm straight, squeeze the abs in, and inhale, unroll into the thoracic twist. Reach, 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 three, two, one. Exhale, squeeze the abs in as you take the elbow across and under the chest. Three, two, one. Inhale, twist and unroll the back and spine. Three, two, let's do it one more time. Exhale as you bring the elbow under and across. Squeeze the abs in. Three, two, one. Good. That left wrist needs a break. Woo. Let's take that left arm, stretch it out in front of you in karate chop position for our single arm lat stretch. Push your chest down. Keep your right hand to your side anywhere you want. Reach out through your left arm karate chop hand. Push the chest down towards the floor. Let's give that wrist shoulder break and we're stretching the lats. A big lat muscle on that left arm, right behind the armpit, to the side of the shoulder blade behind the shoulder. You should be getting a really good stretch. Three breaths. Depress your chest down into the floor. Really, really pushing down. Get as flat as you can as you reach out through that arm. Two breaths. Pull the shoulders back as you push your chest down and reach out. One more breath. All right, slide that left hand back into table pose. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So we'll have the right arm out in front of the shoulder just a little bit. We're gonna really try to lock that right arm straight. Take the left arm behind the head. Take a breath in and let's start at the top with three breaths. Reach behind you. Get as flat as you can on that imaginary wall. Two more breaths on the first one. We're gonna do a little handful moving through them. Exhaling, twisting a little more. One more breath. Here we go, take a big breath in. And as you exhale, we're gonna thread or cross that left elbow under without bending the right elbow. Three, two, one. Inhale as you unroll the back up. Reach the elbow behind you. Three, two, one. Exhale, squeeze the abs in, crunch into it. Take that elbow across. Three, two, one. Inhale, unroll. Three, two, one, exhale, thread the elbow through. Try to get a little further each time. Two, one, inhale, unroll. Push your shoulder, elbow back, get flat on the wall. Two, one, exhale, thread the elbow across a little further. You got one more of each. Three, two, one, inhale, unroll. Into our thoracic twist. Exhale into our last elbow, threading across under the chest. Three, two, one. Good. Come to table pose. Extend that right arm out as straight as you can with a karate chop hand. Push your chest down to press into the floor. Keep your left hand out to your side, wherever is the most comfortable. Let's take three breaths. Oh, I am drenched. The heck is going on? It's actually pretty cool outside. Two more breaths, pushing the chest down. Pull your shoulders back as you reach out. And this is where you should be feeling a really big stretch, right behind the armpit, out to the side of the shoulder blade, right where that big lat muscle ties in. One more breath, we're gonna go into a wide pigeon. Okay, drag the right arm back, come to table pose. Uh, again, if you're on a hard floor and you don't wanna go off your mat, you don't need to take the knees wide, but if you can, put your toes together, put your knees out as wide as you can. We're gonna stretch the inner thighs and open the hips up a little bit as we restore and recover. Once you push your butt back to your heels, Sink your head and chest down as deep as you can to your mat. Stretch your arms out. 
three breaths. I'm going to do a quick towel wipe. Microphone is soaked. It's muffling. Sorry about that. Okay, sinking back into our frog pose or our wide pigeon, wide knee pigeon. Two more breaths. Keep pushing those knees out as wide as you can, as long as you're comfortable to be off your mat. Push your butt back as deep as you can under your feet and then lower your head and chest all the way down. Let's take one more breath and then we're gonna get off the knees. We're gonna sit on our butts and unroll back to a nice big good morning open up. Okay, bring yourself up. Just go to your side, have a seat on your butt, swing your legs out in front of you any way you can. Sir, you have room behind you. We're gonna unroll. If you can roll back using the abs, do so, or go to your side, whatever your low back is okay with. Let me come on screen here. There we go. Bring the arms behind you and let's start off in our, our classic good morning pose. Reach back through your fingers, reach down through your toes, three breaths, decompress, Open the body up, get as long as you can. Everything is pulling away from the center of the body. Abs are in tight. Let's take one more breath, keep reaching, getting longer, and then we're gonna scissor the hamstrings. Keep your right leg down. Bring your left leg up as high as you can and as straight as you can over your hip. Crunch up, reach as high above your knee and grab onto your shin or ankle as high as you can grab, keeping the leg straight. And then bring your right foot a little bit off the floor. I want you to point and reach down through the right foot as we pull that left knee towards the chest. Let's take three breaths on the first one. Pulling that left knee a little bit closer to the chest on each exhale. Two more. We always want to see somebody be able to get a 90 degree angle at their hip. So if you're having a hard time, you got to really start stretching those hamstrings out more. One more breath. Here we go, inhale, scissor the leg slowly, bring the right leg up, left leg down. Exhale as you pull the right knee and reach down through those left toes of the bottom leg as straight as you can, keeping it just a little bit off the floor. Three breaths. I promise you, seven, eight years ago, I could not touch my toes. One more breath. This stuff works, but you got to stick with it. The body is resilient. It does not like change. Here we go. Inhale, scissor. Exhale, pull. We're going to keep them moving and dynamic now. Three, two, one. Inhale, scissor. Exhale, pull, and you do not have to have your head up. You can keep your head down. Inhale, scissor. Exhale, pull and reach. Three, two, one. Inhale, scissor. Exhale, pull. Three, two, one. We're going to do two more each side. Inhale, scissor. Exhale and stretch. Inhale, scissor. Exhale as you pull a little further into the stretch. We're going to do one more on each side. Inhale, scissor. Exhale, stretch. Last one, guys. Inhale, scissor. Exhale, stretch. Three, two, one. Keep the left leg down. Bend the right knee. Relax your head. We're going to take it right into single lying hip twist to restore while we stretch. Put the right arm out to your side. We've, we've done these many times now. I hope you got these down pat. Keep the knee bent at 90 degrees. That will focus all of the stretch on the back of the hip. As soon as you start to 
make a bigger angle at the knee. You're going to be stretching your hamstrings and IT band a little bit more. And if they're tight, it's not going to let you get over into that hip good. Take three breaths once you reach your sticking point. Make sure that right shoulder is down. Make sure you're really reaching out through those right fingers, keeping your palm up as you take that right knee over to the left. Two more breaths. Let's take one more breath. Okay, return your knee over your hip, extend it down to join your left. Let's go right to the other side. Bring your left knee up 90 degrees, left arm out to your side, as far out as you can reach as you that left knee over. Take it slow. Just about everybody I've met and helped has a tighter side. Take things slow in case this is your tighter side. Find your sticking point and take three nice, long, deep belly breaths past it. After this, we're going to do a quick little Shavasana. I'm just going to breathe for a minute, get lots of air in. Then we're going to sit up and finish with a couple of last little stretches. We're going to do some nice neck rotations. Stretch the neck out a little bit, start waking back up. Let's take one more breath into our hip twist. On your exhale, take that knee a little bit further. Oh, there we go. Okay, come back over the hip slowly. Take your left leg down to join your right. Quick corpse pose, five breaths. Make sure your toes are pointing out, heels are in. Just relax your arms to your sides with your palms up. Close your eyes. Here we go. First breath of our five, as long and as deep as you can. All the way in. And everybody air out. Let your body get heavy. Four more. Big, deep belly breaths. All the way out. Three. Two more. Nice, big, deep belly breaths. One more time, as long as you can. All the way in, everybody there. And all the way out. Bring your arms behind you. Bring your feet a little off the floor if your back's okay with it. Stretch everything out. Reach back through the arms. Reach down through the feet. Take a big breath in. If you can roll yourself up or sit yourself up, do so. If you need to go to your side, sit yourself up. Keep the legs out straight however you get yourself up. Let lock the knees, have your toes to the ceiling, take a nice big breath in and reach to the sky as high as you can. Get those arms in line with the ears, reach your head to the ceiling. Take a big breath in and on your exhale, let's go right into a forward spine stretch. Reach out through the arms, push your chest down and head towards your legs and knees. Three breaths sinking down into the legs as you reach out through the arms on your exhales. Two more. One more nice big breath into our forward spine stretch. Round the shoulders, reach out through the arms, fold down. Okay, peel yourself back slowly as you sit up. Go ahead and just have a seat cross-legged so you can see me. Relax your arms onto your knees is fine. Please go very slow when we do any kind of neck stretch. Be very careful. Take the chin to your chest, but make sure you sit up tall. Don't lean forward. Just tuck your chin to your chest. And let's take a breath in and roll the left ear over the left shoulder. Stretch out the right side of the neck. A big breath in. And exhale as you take the right ear down to the right shoulder, stretch the left side of the neck, and then chin back to the chest. Keep them going. Here we go. Inhale, round up, left ear, left shoulder. Exhale, round down, right ear to the right shoulder, chin to the chest. Let's do one more in this direction. Inhale, 
big of a circle as you can. Really just let that head roll around the base of the neck and bring your chin back to your chest. Let's go in the opposite direction. Right ear to right shoulder. Inhale, look up high in the sky. Exhale as you come down. Let's get all those little adjustments, creaks, cracks, pops out of the C-spine. Inhale, round up. Exhale, round down. Let's do it one more time, guys, to finish our flow today. Inhale, round up. Look as high up and back as you can. And exhale as you round down. Bring your chin back to your chest and then sit up tall. And I think we're going to go ahead and stop there for today. It is that time, I believe. All right. Thanks, guys, for joining me. I hope you enjoyed that. More importantly, if you didn't enjoy it, I hope you feel better. <laughs> Always great to have you guys. Thanks for starting your day with me. Pause our